Contamination is a problem that needs to be addressed. Aviation accounts to 2 to 3% of the total emission, with a growth rate of 5% annually. And aircraft emissions are directly related to its fuel consumption. So, if we want to reduce the emissions that our aircraft produce, we need to improve its efficiency. To increment the efficiency, we have two options. We can either reduce the weight or we can reduce the heat losses. It was actually through my brother that I first heard about this material. He was doing a project for chemistry and he found this material that had amazing thermal properties and its density was really low. It is a silicon gel that is dried up and it's almost 99% made of air. This makes it very light. The only disadvantage to aerogel is that it has a relatively low fusion point. It is about 700 degrees Celsius and combustion chambers typically are around 2000 Celsius. To walk around this problem, we use a ceramic plate in between the aerogel and the inner walls of the combustion chamber with the aim to reduce the temperature below the fusion point of the aerogel. That way we can use the thermal insulated properties and save weight. To test the results, we are going to compare our setup with the aerogel to two different methods. One where it's the traditional alloy based insulator and another one where it's part ceramic, part alloy insulator. So now we will compare 50 mm of alloy, 5 mm of alloy and 5 mm of ceramics and our proposal which includes 5 mm of alloy, 2.5 of ceramic and 2.5 of aerogel. So the total thickness will be 15 mm for this case and 10 mm for the other two cases. The weight comparison will be made studying a combustion chamber of 1 meter in diameter. Our first case we will weight 117 kg per meter of length. With the ceramic case we will save 56% and with the aerogel we will achieve a 63% reduction. The heat losses will be reduced in a 94% and with the use of aerogel a 99.9% .9 reduction will be achieved.